Hey everyone out there again, this is HK Fanatic. I know I haven't uploaded a clip in a little while, so I wanted to uh, do a follow up on my favorite HK USP 40. Of course, in 40 Smith and Wesson. And of course, there's good old 1911 right there. My two favorite models of combat handguns. Of course, the reason I choose to use the USP is right here. The double stack magazine, which in my opinion is a lot easier to reload in a dangerous situation or a crisis you might say, than it is for the single stackers. I mean you can do it, but it just takes a lot of practice. And believe it or not, one of the best things you can do is just sit there and practice unloading and reloading until you basically develop muscle memory for it. That will really help so that you can do it without thinking about it and you need to formulate a concept for exactly how to keep track of your rounds uh, that's why I highly recommend a series of training in which uh, sorry about the focus here, in which you utilize a run and gun type of training scenario like you see on a lot of other websites like Nut and Fancy and some of these uh, other guys promote so it's good to get a good 22 pistol uh, I would recommend like a Walther P22, which I also have, and I've been meaning to do a clip on that, and I haven't done it. But uh, the problem is when you start practicing with the 22, is that you're going to get used to the fact that there is uh, little or no recoil felt. And of course, the idea is to be able to tactically control the pistol. Again, a lot of people like the Glock, and I think the Glock is a very good weapon. But the problem with the Glock is this. Only one thing I do not like about the Glock. You cannot control the hammer. In a combat situation, I draw from my holster. I'm already going to be cocking the hammer. I've just trained myself to do that. Now, I'm a lefty. So that means as I draw, my finger is already instinctively going for the hammer and cocking. So, uh, again, that's something you can also control with a 1911. But, of course... Being a single action, you're going to have to, uh, well, either way, you can still cock the hammer. It's actually probably about the same amount of effort required on a 1911 to do it as it is on a more modern, well, I shouldn't say the 1911 has been modernized and adapted to uh, suit the combat handgun situation very well, but the, uh, the USP and other weapons like it are, uh, of course, I just, you know, I just take a, take a preference to them. I don't know why. I bought this one off a friend of mine a few years ago, um, and he'd already had it. So all I did was uh, fin refinish up some of the parts on it. And uh, other than that, I haven't had to do much. I keep it oiled, and uh, I've never had any misfires with this gun. Every time you pull the trigger, it's going to fire one round. That's the one thing about HK you can count on which I think is a plus. So when people tell you, well, but it's $800, you know, seven, $800 for the pistol. That old saying, you get what you pay for, is 100% true when it comes to handguns. If you go some, buy some cheap piece of, you know, $200 crap, it's just not going to perform as well as one of these guns does. Or even a Glock. I mean, again, if the hammer issue isn't a problem, get yourself a Walther. Like the P99, which is another excellent handgun, which I do like. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the first shot, when you pull on the trigger, you have to cock the hammer, which, of course, that's going to add a little uh, delay in your uh, in your uh, crisis situation. But, of course, and again, it's a matter of preference. Again, I like the, ambidex the uh, ambidextrous magazine release. A wide magazine well which is very easy to get the rounds in and out of I mean that's pretty good size I mean you'll only fumble ever so slightly until you train yourself to uh, just do it without thinking about it like I said muscle memory is very important once you develop that you can do that without thinking about it then you can concentrate on hitting targets and that's the most important thing I mean know how to clear jams instinctively with obviously Try to rack the slide back if you think you have a malfunction. Look, look, and pull the slide back to get the round out and try to get a new round in. 
Uh, it's the same basic technique for just about any handgun. And of course, having a backup handgun to go to should this one fail, of course, won't hurt. And that, in that case, uh, pistols like the Walter PPS is not a bad choice for a backup. So, in the next round, I'm going to take this one out, hopefully, and do some running and gunning with it. With my uh, friend just set up his uh, his own mini range not far from uh, where he lives. So we're going to go and try to shoot some footage of both me and him uh, doing some running guns. Alright, so until next clip, this is HK Fanatic, out.